from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we've been very fortunate today. High pressure out towards the west uh, has kept things quiet. It's a weak high, so expecting that to lift towards the north and east. And we'll see a couple of high clouds tomorrow, but our weather pattern overall will be dry. We're looking at winds out of the south at five miles per hour right now. 77 degrees in the harbor and expecting temperatures to gradually fall into the 60s as we push through the overnight hours. Noticeably a couple of degrees warmer as you hit the road tomorrow morning. Uh, but muggy meter will also be increasing as well, so it will be uh, in that sticky territory throughout the next few days. And by the time we head into the weekend, Monday and Tuesday, uh, we'll start to see those uh, conditions get a little bit more unbearable to be outside. So let's try to enjoy what we have uh, tomorrow. High pressure lifting towards the north and east southerly flow taking over, and that's going to allow for temperatures to be a little bit warmer tomorrow than they've been the last few days. We've spent much of the last seven days in the 80s actually for daytime highs and we're going to start off at 72 for the morning rapidly climbing into the upper 80s and look back to the 90s we go as we head towards the one o'clock hour grabbing a bite to eat it's going to be a little bit warmer than it's been thankfully the heat index will not be a major part of our forecast but the uv index will be in that high territory so remember to use that spf 30. in addition to that we have a code orange air quality alert that's in effect for all of the region throughout the afternoon tomorrow until sunset. The atmosphere is going to be a little bit thicker. You know, you could help out if you remember to uh, tank up before dawn and uh, after sunset. That's going to reduce the amount of ozone out in the atmosphere. And speaking of after sunset, it's going down tomorrow down in Columbia here at the Lakefront Summer Festival kicking off at 8 o'clock. Going to feel pretty nice out there as temperatures fall into the upper 70s through the evening. Unfortunately, there is a slight rain chance in the forecast as we head towards your Saturday, but it's going to be isolated. Here's what we're talking about. A moisture associated with this boundary that's going to be to the south of us will start lifting northward, but it's going to be extreme southern and eastern Maryland that's going to have the best chance of seeing some of those showers as we head into your Saturday afternoon and evening hours. Notice it doesn't make its way to the city of Baltimore, so I'm keeping us pretty dry. Just expecting more of those clouds to build in, and that's going to actually help the numbers a little bit. It's going to bring us our coolest day of the forecast where we only get into the upper 80s. Unfortunately, that winds will shift as we head towards your Sunday. I expect to see a few more rays of sunshine. That's going to warm the temperatures up, but also the heat indices as well. Back to the mid 90s by Monday, feeling like 99 on Tuesday. And we hadn't talked about triple digit heat indices in a while, but that's what we have in the cards for your Wednesday and Thursday. So a warming trend definitely taking hold of the region, seeing uh, the, the temperatures climb back into the 90s on Friday and then again on Sunday and staying there throughout most of the seven day period with some chances for some pop up showers and thunderstorms for your Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And we're watching the tropics too. Now this first wave not looking impressive. You can see it's an open wave, not a lot of organization, not a lot of convection has about a 20% chance of developing within the next two to five days. But this secondary system that's just coming off of the coast of Africa is a little bit more robust. So we're expecting uh, something that form here within the next five days, a 40% chance between now and Saturday, a 70% chance between now and the beginning of next week.